what they did to us was like, he's the same as you. He's mm. the same as you. There's a guy that's from sort of council estate kind of thing. Yeah, he's in South and from, or from East and you're from, well, you're South, right? And you're from West, yeah. but he's the same as you. And so they definitely, I, I feel like the industry created that sort of fear of not working by always looking across at you, like always looking across at each other. Like, what's he doing? What's he doing? Mm. If he's working, I'm not going to eat for six months. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Ashley Waters, and this is Enemies, Friends Like These. Hi, I'm Noel Clark, and this is Enemies, Friends Like These. When did we first meet, Ashley? (laughs) (laughs) Um, um, I think we first met, we first met on set, didn't we? For that Channel 4 short. Short film, yeah. I can't remember what it was called. You were, you were... called Take Two. Take two, you were the star of it. I got some little bitty bitty role where I remember stand, <laughs> standing in a in a phone box, didn't know what I was doing, why I was there, but I loved it. And that's and what we first met. That was we first met and Priya Kalidas was also in it. Yeah, Priya Kalidas. And Priya Kalidas the director was um was your guy, isn't it? What's his name? Beetle Blair, who got me started. Beetle, Beetle Blair, yeah, yeah. Um and it, was for, it was for the big breakfast, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was. I remember um once we'd shot it, I remember. Did you were you there when we had to go on the big breakfast that day? Because I remember I had to go on to the actual morning show when they showed it. I don't think I was there that day, and I just remember we did that short. I think it was written by school children as well. I think it was a competition. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember um, rapping to me? Like we were no. talking about talking about who could spit bars, and me and you were rapping. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. I bet Obviously you remember. You do you remember my bars? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I can remember them twenty years later. <laughs> <laughs> you usually can remember everything else. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, I don't remember. I just know. It, I know it was good. I know I, I did some, and then you did some. I was like, he's good. My first impression of you was what a bloody idiot! That no, joke. What, um, what was your first? What, honestly, though, what was your first impressions? I think it's hard to do first impressions because that was quite a quick shoot. But what was your impressions of me early on? Um, it was tough, man, because you know what? There was a lot of... Just tell the truth. You didn't like me. Just tell the truth. No, no, brother. I, did, I, I couldn't say I didn't like you. I've never been a person to say that without having an experience with someone myself. If I'm honest with you, I think shortly after that, not too long ago after that, you were doing Kid Yeah. Um, and... I thought I was a shoe in for that, for that film. So my agent sent me up for it. I come, I remember it was on, um, it was in South London somewhere, Westminster Bridge by Westminster Bridge or something like that, where you were taking the costumes. And I come in, did my casting or whatever. And I just didn't get the job. Now, you know, as an, <laughs> you yeah. know, as an actor, those things hurt. <laughs> yeah, well, So I was like, I thought like, nah, man, I should have, <laughs> you know what I mean? I should have got that. And yeah. then, you know how the industry is. Um, yeah. People, there was a lot of, je- there was a lot, yeah, there was a lot of jealous people about, you know, how well we w- were progressing individually. individually and yeah. so there was a lot of people that would tell me, nah, nah, he's not a cool guy, man. Like, yeah. don't work with him, this, that, whatever. And I'm sure you were getting that from the other side as well. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, so it did, it, it, I suppose that helped me to develop a, a, a sort of <laughs> idea of what you were like, but I weren't willing to, to kind of put my finger on anything until until I met you. Yeah. And obviously when when I met you, I think the first in-depth conversation we had was at the was it the Biffers? The Biffers when we said when we said let's meet up. Yeah. And let's work together. Yeah. You said that, yeah. Yeah, and from that point on, I thought you were cool. Actually, yeah. you you gave me a check a couple of weeks after. I put a track on one of your films, That's right. I got a nice, I got a nice check. I was like, this guy's all right. I, <laughs> all right, it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the same for me. I think it was very similar. Like we did the short <clears throat> and then in fact, I don't think I know it was the same. Like when Bullet Boy was coming and Kid Hood was coming, they were all kind of bubbling at the same time. And I remember we'd go into meetings and people would say, oh, there's another film, Bullet Boy, this, that and the other. And your film's never getting made and this, that and the other. And, you know, everyone was doing that same sort of thing. Oh yeah, he, Cause you know, you know what 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 they did to us was like. He's the same as you. He's mm. the same as you. There's a guy that's from sort of council estate kind of thing. Yeah, he's in South and from or from East and you're from, well, you're South, right? And you're from West, yeah. but he's the same as you. 
And so they definitely, I, I feel like the industry created that sort of fear of not working by always looking across at you, like always looking across at each other, like what's he doing? What's he doing? If mm. he's working, I'm not going to eat for six months, you know? And I, I think you're right. Once having that, con and you know, I've said it a million times because you know what I'm like. So all, once that was there, it was there. But all credit to you at the Biffers when you came and said, I think we should do something together. You know, I don't think either of our mindsets were really there. So for you to mm -hmm. even say that was, was, a, was a big deal. And you know, look what it's turned into. So, I mean, amazing. Yeah, it's been amazing. How did we actually start working on the Bulletproof franchise? I know we talked about that, uh, that meeting at the Biffers, but what, what, what do you remember happening after that? We met, uh, we went to the coffee shop on Tottenham Court Road for like six or seven times, right? To come up with this yeah. thing. Bro, you seen the girls? The kidnapped girl is headline news. We'll be assisted by our British colleagues, but they'll be observing only. What are you saying, man? What are you going to do? Start playing by the rules. This is not London. I think, do you know what? I, I was thinking about this the other day because we've, I've, obviously, we've had to talk about this a lot. But, um, <clears throat> but I think the first meeting was Centre Point. Was it in the Centre Point? But well, that coffee shop yeah. is underneath Centre Point. Did we meet in Yeah, Centre I know. Point? But I think the first time we met, it was proper brief, like 15, 20 minutes or something like that. In some lounge part in Centre Point. At the top. Um, uh, yeah, I think you used to work from there or whatever. I don't know, but you were there. They used to have a club at the top, like a private club called Paramount. Yeah, club yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I remember coming to see you there and that was really like brief. And then, and then yeah, the coffee shop afterwards, man. Um, I, I can't remember exactly how many times, but that's where everything, yeah. everything started. Yeah. I think you... you, you uh, Thinking back, you give me a bit more um, credit than I'm due because I did come with the, like, I, I think the night before I knocked something up in my head, like, yeah, it has to be something like this. Um, and I came with the idea, but I think you having the skill and the, 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 the technical ability to produce at that point and me not, you kind of took it, I wrote you know, it, you, made, yeah, the document. Yeah, you, you made it grow. You got the document proper, so... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Was, I don't think was, it's more credit than it's due because if you hadn't talked to me at the Biffers and had the idea and come with that idea, then mm -hmm. that wouldn't have given me the impetus to write that whole that whole sort of document thing. So I, I think you 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 get the get the credit you are due, man. And I always you know I always say it like you know you came up with the idea and I think that 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 was the beginning. So you know we came up with that document and then it was just about how do we turn this into something to get made and like just busting our ass for years <laughs> until it got made. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult. It was tough times. Tough times. Tell me where the missing goes. Come on holiday, Bishop. <laughs> It'll be relaxing, you said. <laughs> what inspired the new, the new spin-off? Series. I mean, it would probably be nice to 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 say, um, you know, we planned it, but it didn't really, <laughs> that weren't how it went, really, was it? Go on. Well, there was. There's 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 two things. There's a logistical reason in, in real life, and then there's a, a a character reason. So I think, as we know, the character reason is because our characters went through so much in the two seasons that we needed a holiday. Mm -hmm. um, the logistical reason in real life is because Ash has two, two very big jobs. Big, and the other job, like they, they shoot in between each other. And for whatever reason, the way we finished season two didn't give us a lot of time to do another season. And so we had to do a short season, which became the specials. And that's, that's why it's not a season. That's why it's the specials, really. So Ash mm -hmm. could go back to his other show, uh, which we were all happy about. And, that, and that's, that's what's happening. Now we shoot in the other zone. I think that's that's basically what happened, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Actually, I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I forgot it was kind of because of me. If I'm honest, <laughs> it's because of you. <laughs> but so, actually, actually, it worked out really well, you know. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, there'll be there'll be more to come. Um, but this the, the the free part of the special is out of this world, man. People are gonna. It, it's worth. It's been worth the wait. Trust me. 
obviously we've we've shot now, you know, good mates and all that. We've shot in a lot of places, Liverpool, London. What was your experience? What do you how do you think the experience was shooting in Cape Town? Just living out there with your mate Jimmy in every day. <laughs> oh bro, I actually I absolutely loved it. I absolutely <laughs> loved it, mate. I had an amazing time. Amazing was- time. Yeah. It was bloody amazing. Um yeah, you couldn't get any. I mean, you know, like come on, we had we had a few days off out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes together, sometimes not, but we had a few days off. The sun. Um the sun, you know, the people, the food. Gymed every uh, single day. Yeah, we gymed sometimes every every sometimes. day. Yeah, religiously. Um and it was good. It was good to to kind of get into that headspace. Um but yeah, I really enjoyed it, man. It wasn't yeah, me too. It wasn't. It wasn't difficult at all. It was just felt natural, you know. Everything worked. We we were blessed with an amazing cast as well, man. Yeah, we had an amazing South African cast and crew, which made it so much easier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good times. What about you? How did you feel? I, 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 same as you, man. I liked it. Just being, you know, it's always nice when you're shooting. It's sometimes not nice when you're shooting away because you miss your, your your kids and all that. And you know, but it's a nice shooting away when you get the sort of the weather and the environment that we were in, you know, and just getting to, to see things. I, I would never have gone there. It was mm. never a place on my list. I would have popped my clothes. I would never have gone there. And it was never a place on my list. So to, to go there for various reasons, but to go there and, and have that experience, you know, that positive experience mm. was, was, was a blessing, I, I think. You know, seeing things I would, safari and all that, that I would never, never have done, you know, and, yeah, it was great. I really, I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed my time there, to be honest. Mm. And spending it with mates as well. I mean, you know, how many jobs have you done where you don't always like everyone? But, you know, to be with one of my, my best friends out there and just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just jokes, man. We, can, yeah, made, we laugh that, every day, as you know, so, you know. <laughs> that, made it so much, that made it so much better, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Made it so much better. Yeah. Yo. Do we do we have anything else planned in the future to work well, to I work mean, on? One hundred percent, that's going to happen. I mean, I, I, you know, as you know, we're both busy with the with the other bits, and I wouldn't say there's anything like immediate, but I, I don't yeah. feel like we can't. I don't feel like we can't not work together again. In fact, we've recently been looking at in our office, been looking at those, those sorts of projects of what we can do together. Mm. Um, I know you don't know that because you're not in my office, but yeah. we've literally been looking at that recently. So I think it's a prerequisite that we should do it. I think, you know, together we achieve a lot more. Um, I think, you know, even if it's something that you create or your company does that I'm in or that we mm. create that you're in or that something that we can be both in together, 100%, 100%. 100%. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to do something like a, I mean, listen, you know, we both know when Bulletproof can't, last forever we'd love it to but yeah. um we're gonna have to do different things at some point but it'd be nice to get a movie in wouldn't it yeah yeah like a bulletproof you know, film 100 percent. you know what's interesting as well i find myself on other sets you know uh and i'm just like you're saying this it's not the same <laughs> yeah. bulletproof. where's ashley <laughs> yeah. ash yo so what's going on, man? I, I know you've been moonlighting. You're on a different set without me. Some little show called Top Boy. How's it going? How's it going without me? How do you find it without me? Ah, oh, bruv, I'm, 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 I'm loving it. But like, like you said, I mean, listen, Top Boy is a different, um, yes, yeah, great. It's a different, different show altogether. Um, can be quite depressing at times because we're dealing with some really deep down issues, but. Um, yeah. But it's going well. The scripts are really good. Scripts are really tight. I'm coming at it from a new perspective this time because you know I'm 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 executive producing on this one, yeah, so cool. it's like creatively and script wise and stuff like that. I'm kind of more, much more involved, um, and much more involved with the directors. And we've got some really new, fresh directors. We've got Kobe Adome at the moment, yeah. um, um, directing like episode five and six. Um, um, oh, so which you, is guys a, on, you guys are on five and six already. You're getting through, yeah? Well, do you know what? Because of COVID, we've lost so many locations. We've just had to move with what we can. So we're literally oh, one day we're see. one day we're doing six, then one day we're doing one again, yeah, then we're yeah, back yeah. to three, then whatever. Yeah. So it's been difficult. It's been difficult like that. But um, 
But rest assured to everyone listening or watching, um, we got another banger for you. So it's oh, it's, 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 def- it's definitely going to be good. And when you said I'm um, like I'm on another set without you, that's not true. You're you're next to me all the time. <laughs> I'm sure you're you're, you're <laughs> Sully, isn't it? Ain't you I'm Sully? Sully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I t- I tell you, what, the bigger question is, where's me role? Where's me role? When can I appear? When can you're I? Always do doing this. You're always doing it. Bye. <laughs> 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 Oh god, you're oh funny, god. man. Yeah, like, no. listen, just uh, just imagine you walking in, walking, walking out as um out of uh bulletproof as bishop and then walking into this as something else. Can you imagine? It'd be a mad one. Can It'd you be a mad imagine? one. I think people watch this space. Up. Watch I this think space. People will pop off for it though, if I'm honest. Yeah, but I know. Watch like, this space. No pressure. I love you anyway. Enjoy the shoot. Bless you. I might come visit you if I'm allowed. Yeah, you should, man. Pull up in time. It's Anytime. Yeah, all right, I'm going to do that. So, Mr. Clark. Yeah, broski. I heard you've been um, you've been working on something else. That's I not bulletproof. A yeah, show called it. a show called Viewpoint. How, how was that? It was good, actually. I mean, you know, I mean, it, I mean, it was all right. You know, it's not uh, <laughs> it's not BP, is it? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I I enjoyed it. You know, it was something. Very different. I think, you know, as you know, as you know, as we've been getting older, we can get into these sort of roles that, you know, we would never have been given when we were younger, but also the, the chance to, 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 to be in a show that's very different. So, you know, I play this detective who's a surveillance guy. So it's all about like the, the angles and the binoculars and the mon- monoculars and all this kind of business. And I, I, I really enjoyed it, actually. I think it's, um, I think it's going to be very different for me. You know, ITV mm. audience should eat it up, hopefully. And uh, yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I did miss you though, but yeah. How I mean, many you know. how many parts is it? I'm actually in two. Yeah. I think it's five five part five, five part. part yeah. I, I think they're gonna do the thing that everyone does now. You know, just like boom. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. On yeah. demand sort of thing. Watch it yeah, when you want. Yeah. But but I'm but I'm looking forward to it. Wildest night, probably our wildest night. If if we're honest. And I have to be honest about this. It was probably Amsterdam, wasn't it? And that was a st- it was short lived for me. That was on was rap that night when all the unit come out. That yeah, we wrapped oh, in rap Amsterdam. Night in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, and we oh, ended yeah, up in Soho all House. Down and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soho House, Amsterdam. You know, we we're, we're like walking streets. So the unit, the unit of us, you know. So so Monroe, uh, uh, what's the two new girls called? Scooch, Paige. Mm. Uh, Jonesy was Jonesy was still there, yeah, and uh, still. we we all went out. We all went out, and you know, I think some people. I, I don't drink, but <laughs> I mean, there were, some of the crew were falling over, like falling out of lifts. I remember one person like the lift door open, and they just fell. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty wild night. I, I'm we're pretty much. I'm a homebody. Like, I, yeah. I would rather sit on my couch and play yeah. play Nintendo than go out. To be honest, so like we we don't really have a lot of wild nights. You know, when we work so hard, it's it's we can be, I guess, pretty boring to people, but that is definitely a, that was definitely a crazy night. But yeah. for me, it was more fun watching everybody else get get crazy than than, than anything. Yeah, you we know. we know, and then telling everyone what they did the next day. Yeah, we yeah, know. He went now, to bed now, early now. as well. He went to yeah. bed early. <laughs> yeah. I did. I retired. I couldn't. I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 